Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. Core committee members of Parliamentary Committee on Naka Political Issue held a meeting with NSC Nayam at Jumukidima Police Complex in Dimapu yesterday. Speaking exclusively to AIR News Kohima, Minister and Member of the Committee Niba Krono said they had a cordial meeting with the NSN IM. Krono said the core committee with members from all parties attending the meeting conveyed their message to the NSN IM to resume the talks at the earliest since the interlocutor has been changed. He said NSN IM also responded positively in a meeting held earlier Monday with NEDA convener and Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma, former Intelligence Bureau Officer A.K. Mishra and Chief Minister Nipurio. Krono therefore said such positive response from NSN IM means a way forward and expressed hope that the NSN IM will go for negotiations. The minister said the NSN IM apprised the members of the core committee that former interlocutor Arun Ravi was the reason for stalling the talks. Krono said the state government as a facilitator is trying to bring all stakeholders together and will hold a meeting with them. Krono further informed that the meeting with NNPGs will be decided in the next core committee meeting. Arun Ravi has resigned as interlocutor for the Naga peace process. The centre has accepted the resignation of Ravi as interlocutor with immediate effect after he submitted his resignation yesterday. Arun Ravi was appointed as interlocutor for Naga talks after Modi government took over in 2014 and was also later appointed as Nagaland governor in 2019 in addition to his role as the interlocutor. Ravi had signed the framework agreement with the NSCNIM on 3rd August 2015 in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. However, the NSCNIM had accused Ravi of sabotaging the talks. Ravi was transferred as governor to Tamil Nadu this month. The centre informed the Supreme Court that National Disaster Management Authority has recommended excretion of 50,000 rupees to be given to kin of those who died due to COVID-19. The centre further said that excretion will be provided from State Disaster Response Fund and subject to the cause of death being certified as COVID-19. The excretion assistance will continue to be provided for deaths that may occur in the future phases of the COVID-19 pandemic as well or until further notification, the affidavit said. Compensation will be given to families of even those diseased who were involved in COVID relief operations or associated in preparedness activities. The concerned families will submit their claims through a form issued by the state authorities along with specified documents. The District Disaster Management Authorities will ensure that the process of claim, verification, sanction and dispersal is simple, robust and people-friendly. All claims must be settled within 30 days of submission of the required documents and dispersed through the ATAR-linked direct benefit transfer procedures. Commemorating the 75th anniversary of India's independence, Land Resources Department Perrin organised the culmination programme in recognition of the successful completion of watershed development component of PMKSY Batch 5 and 6 projects at Jalugi Town yesterday. Gracing the occasion, Baron Estio Civil, Gemsigile stressed on the importance of agriculture and farming with the support of technology and financial assistance in the post-COVID-19 era. She encouraged the villagers to have a sense of ownership for the assets created through the Land Resource Department. Gemsigile also handed over the Watershed Development Fund to all the 26 villagers. As the nationwide free COVID-19 vaccination campaign at government facilities for those above 18 years is going on, we advise our young listeners to get vaccinated and also help others get vaccinated. We also advise our listeners not to lower the guard as COVID-19 remains a threat to our health. Please stay at home unless it is essential to go out and continue to follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800-345-0019. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.